Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, let me get ready here. I just want to talk a little bit about the Chitlinket and my games. Hopefully this will help me. So what can I tell you? Well, first, uh, I will have to play all the games as first board or first board got injured. Uh, it was unfortunate, but it happened. So that means that I have to play all games, and for the reason I won't be able to have much rest. The look at this are really demanding tournament, and it's quite hard to, to play it no matter what, but without without. Uh, one board is it's really tough for everyone, so I'll try to do my best, but definitely that is a handicap that uh, is affecting the whole team. Right now we're playing without two of our main boards, the one did not come, the one got injured, uh, so yeah, we did not win the strongest thing that we could. Uh, that being said, we're going to do our best, we're going to try to play as best as we can, and uh, it is what it is. Uh, what can I tell you about my level of play? Well, uh, it has been hard. I did not play in months. And quite honestly, I could not train a lot the last months. I did not fo mostly focus on training my students. But finally, now I have a big group of students. And I am really happy with the results that everyone is having. But, of course, I don't feel great about being here now as a fish board and not playing my best yet. Uh, hopefully, as the tournament progress, I will find more rhythm. Um, so far, I did not have trouble in many games from the point of view of preparation. The calculation has been hard. One of those things that if you are not playing and training regularly, uh, it's hard to find a way through the line, especially if you play. Uh, I lost three games already. Uh, the three games were against guys that were about uh, 25 Harvard, so okay, that will happen. Uh, I won most of my games against lower rated opponents. And I do one that actually I should have lost. But I am happy about that game because even if I got a terrible position, I managed to hold it for a long, long time and then to drop the game. Uh, a game that usually should have lost as well. It was a good game. Okay, now let's just start with the game. So this is my first game. So I play against uh, a lower and rated player, but uh, this, uh, this one that I have to be careful. Uh, apparently, this is the strongest player of the, that team, uh, Fiji. And the thing with this guy is that he mostly started playing during the pandemic. So he had some tournaments where he actually did quite well, seven points out of eight in one of them in, uh, in Pan Pacific or something like that tournament. But because they were not over the board, he has no rating. So these kind of games are really really stressful because you never know what what is the real strength of the opponent. Fortunately, uh, the guy doesn't have my experience and also I, I bet he was a bit nervous. Um, and yeah, he may be a new player and he probably didn't play over the board and he may be the strongest of the Fiji team, but I'm sure he's not international master level yet or close to it. So it was a game without many many events. I play, I prepared this, I, pre I prepared to play the exchange variation, but he surprised me with bishop g4. Bishop g4 is not an usual look at all. Usually black plays knight d7 or bishop c6. Bishop g4 took me a while to decide what to do because I was thinking in lines like knight e5 trying to make son g4 work, but it wasn't. So I played three that apparently is the way the best move. And I played like a normal setup. And here I took a long time because, yeah, I could try to castle long immediately. 
and try to create something using the fact that the bishop is on g4, probably it was the strongest thing to play. But h3, even if I don't feel it was the strongest move, uh, is not something that I feel he tried, wanted to do, like to take on f3. So if it takes, I will take with the pawn, and probably here the strongest move. I thought it was if I, the computer, like rook c8 to prepare it, and it will be a, a crazy game on both sides of the board. But he played bishop b6, and after that, I think I am just better. I could castle and get a good version of the exchange variation, or play before. But probably it's not as strong as castling objectively, but uh, yeah, I thought this guy is going to be under pressure. First game in the Olympiad, let's go for it. Right here. What can I say about that move? I really don't like it. Maybe it's not a blunder. And the game we continue like this. E5, it's logical. King one. A5, E5, H5, good move. To take was really, really not an option. Here I am pretty sure I am murdering the guy. So h5 is fine. And now this knight e2, that is a really strong move. My knight is coming to f4. And there are many ideas of sacrificing the knight on, on g6. g2, g6, here. And now I play a move that apparently is not the strongest. I on the idea in the game that I wanted to play, but I thought I would be a smart, I would play first rook c1. I'm not sure why the computer doesn't like it. There rook c8 is not possible because bishop b5, so he has to play this one. And I don't think this is good for black, but anyway, knight h4, here upon my plan. We have to find a way to, to improve the position, so this was the way that I found. But this is a My plan is to take on e6 and play f4 f5, but I cannot do it because e3 is hanging. So I thought, oh, I would be smart. I would take the rook to g1 and to g3, and then I would support e3 and take on e6 and play f4. But rook h3, h1 was just way stronger, and probably he is just losing here. Let's say, uh, I don't know, rook b6, and takes, he cannot take with the pawn. Uh, yeah, you could take the queen, I guess, but still, this is just losing. F5 is coming next, and there is no good way, and no, there is no good way to deal with it. In the game, even if I took the wrong, uh, wrong road, uh, my opponent blundered around here. I'm not sure where exactly, probably this move, rook c8, but he allowed me to do all I wanted. And no, no need to wait for, no need to take on f5. I will just open the position. And here, I think it's totally lost. But he just picked the fastest way to lose because after this move, I just take and then he is losing by force. The best he could do probably is to take. Doesn't change much things if he moves the king to f8 because the same blow will come. And now he's taking the seven. And you take. I take on a five, and then I am winning the queen. So he resigned. Okay, so this is game number one. Okay, game number two. I am I am white again. Don't you know, against a really strong player, one of the strongest in America, Fernando Peralta. This guy is a legend. And um, and they prepare. And I, actually, we went straight into the preparation. I got this position in front of me before the game. And here, the usual plan for white is to play bishop f3, h3, and then we will try to create an attack on the king side. Something like knight h2, pawn g4, almost surely he will have to trade the bishop on b7, but he, he came with a novel queen. I think a really good one. He prevent my idea. 
the stealer will go for it. But now the difference is that he has time to play f5 and hit it. So took. And here, again, there are things that happen when you don't have rhythm. Here I wanted to play 92, 94, and then if I manage to do that, I should be at least slightly better. His bishop on e7 is always a problem, so losing this would be, I don't think, really easy if I manage to put the, the knight of f3 on e2. The problem is that if I played that move, I, I overcooked. I thought, oh, well, but then he plays g5. And he starts to create counterplay on the king side. And if I take on g5, he takes with the bishop, and then he will take on d2. And yeah, I, I do not like him. The problem is that I totally miscalculated, because g5 is actually a blunder. Can you find the move? What does white play here? Well, I hope you found on d4. That is pretty strong. And now if the queen goes away, the knight comes to e4. If he takes, I think, I think I can even play g5. I cannot remember exactly the line right now, but uh, this position was considered huge advantage for white. So, yeah, that made me go for the uh, slightly worse variation, 94. But now black will be able to clear, create counterplay. He found here a really, really good idea, queen g6. With the knight, with the other knight, it will not be possible. I will play g6, right? But here, he found this idea. That is pretty strong. Now I am having some trouble building with pawn h4 and the pressure that he can create in the f-line. The knight will have to take care of the pawn. So, here, still, the computer is okay with all my moves, like rook h1. I thought in the game it was a really bad mistake. The computer like it. I just don't. Why I don't like this move? Well, what happens is that he will play the rook to f5. And then the threat is to double rooks. So, I move my king out of the way, so I can protect h4. And now I have to move by knight, but here I realized, a couple of moves ago, moves ago, I realized, oh wait, if I go with the knight to d2, he will come to b4, attacks my pawn a2, and if I protect the pawn, no, this is even worse, because now the knight comes to d4, and I'm pretty sure this is terrible for me, like, I don't know how bad, but it has to be terrible. The knight will come to, to d4, probably the rook will come to h5, uh, this has started it starts to smell like checkmate. So, it is what it is. Knight g1, knight c5, took, and f3. Okay, at least I keep everything in one piece, but now, by this point, after I realize how badly I screw it with my knight, he, he played a really interesting idea. He played queen h6. First I thought, this is not good. Because if we go for this, that is what happened. I just play h4, and I think I am at least equal. But then he went for this sacrifice. For the computer, it's equal, but of course, it's not equal if you are in bad time, bad time trouble. He played like this, and here I block that. I have to play queen here. And apparently, the best way to go is rook takes, rook takes, rook takes. And this is equal. Complex position. But if white plays okay, she will be able to hold. How hard it would be in, in the game, I'm not sure. But it's better than what I play. Play queen g2. And now we have to keep almost all my pounds. Check. It's falling. And here he just keeps taking pounds. I don't lost it. Okay? It's just to be, to be clear. But c6 is a bad mistake. I still have chances here. Apparently the best way to go is 94. And there is a line that goes something like queen takes. I don't know, but sorry. I don't like to use the engine here, but I have to because I am not going to be able to show it without it. Yeah. 
the computer took a while, but keep on the line that he feels is close to equal. Image one, frame four. Oh man, it was until like this. The one that I I saw coming coming here. Yeah, this is the line I saw. Not in the game, I mean with the engine. I just find this amusing. <laughs> because here this could happen it hardly. I don't think I will find this line. But the funny thing here is that for the computer this line is equal. Two, four, six, seven pounds and a rook and he doesn't think white should lose. There are a couple of lines similar to this. Now in the game, I have to play knight e4. I saw the move. I take this. Queen of five or maybe queen of five is similar to the line that we saw. I saw queen knight e4. Come on, get out. But I didn't like knight e4 because I thought, oh, this is really scary if he plays queen here. No, no, not no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, rook d1. We play h6, and still here I have chances to to get a kind of equal game with knight e4, even with all my efforts. But I was worried about queen a4, double threat, rook and knight are hit, rook here, queen f3, and I thought this is terrible. No, knight here, king here. Okay, I thought this is terrible. He's hitting the five again. And I didn't have that much time. But here apparently the computer says no problem. Queen f3 should hold. Takes on d5 queen, rook takes with the pound, knight d6. And white has really, really good chances of draw here. Most probably the position is gonna be a draw. The king, black king is is not easy to to put on safety. Anyway, I did not play that. I played queen f3. It takes takes and e4, and now I think I am lost. Yeah, I don't think there is much to do here. Maybe queen f4 to try to take queen 6 Here I am really bad time trouble. Threatens on the play check. And here I just make the last mistake. Takes. He was also in a bit of time trouble, but this is inexcusable because here he played a3. And I can play, I have seconds, but I still, I guess I could play check and take. I was just worried about my knight going to be lost, but. Apparently he cannot take it. Okay. What do I do? I feel like I am losing the knight here. Am I wrong? White queen six is not. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I am just doing some things. Okay, yeah. Okay. For sure. Yes, I no, I am not losing the knight. I thought I was losing the knight. Remember, I have you set here. But here I have good chances of of holding this. If I can put like my queen on f3 and the knight on f e4, then ideas of knight e5 will come. And it's not that easy to make those pounds go forward without losing one. But still, really hard to hold this from a practical point of view. But definitely way better than just taking the pound. My idea is to play queen check and then knight e4 to sacrifice the knight on f6, but of course, not happening. Queen b2 and I'm just losing. Okay. Uh, with one more game to finish. Let's see. Okay, previous. Yes. Round three. 
a player from my field master from Mali. I am black. I prefer to play some games with 95, 95 people. And I think that line is harness. But well, it's not as hard as what he play against me. He just tried to draw the game. So we went into this endgame. Troy e5 is not the strongest move. Bishop b4 apparently is better. Still, this is like fine. But then he starts to make mistakes here. C5 seems to be a bad move. I think it was like bishop d7 and c6 is the best one. But yeah, apparently this is bad. Because he equalizes. But then he makes a mistake. Here, still I can play for the bishop pair. But yeah, because of the pressure on the c pound, should be equal. But then, here he has to take on b6. And probably he's fine. But he makes this mistake, and now I can keep my bishop pair. And start putting pressure on his position. And now, here, here I don't think bishop d4, d4 is that good, but after rook c1 and we play like this, I can just settle my knight, my bishop on d4. If it takes, I create a spawn, so probably he won't do it. Really strong move, no need to to define things. I am playing g4 in some situations. Of course, you could play f4 here and win space, but quite to define the position when I can just play uh, without him being really sure about what I want to do. This is a mistake. He's just playing with him. He cannot improve his position. Finally, here, here we make a mistake. We, because we miscalculate this position. Here I thought this was winning, but then he played 94 and yes, is what I thought. I am putting my bishop on d3 and I am uh, winning the pawn on d5, but the problem is that he has rook c4, and apparently the computer thinks this is close to equal. I'm not sure. I didn't check it yet. I didn't mean anything about the move. It looks stupid because I just saw, okay, be, of course I'd look for those things, but I mean, I attack the knight, the bishop is protected, but then he plays b3, and apparently he have no good moves here. I mean, come on, I am sure, even for a grand master to find this idea, nobody will go for pound takes to go for that. Okay, so... Here I thought I was winning. The good thing about having played bishop h5, the bishop cannot go to f2, and I am winning the pawn. The problem is that here, this seems to be fine. I calculate this whole line. I thought I am winning. But, not sure about the time, I think we are really low here. But I thought, okay, here I just play h2, and then I take and I am winning. I play on rook d1. But here, actually, the move that is winning is h3. It's game over. Oh well. Rook 2 still doesn't explode anything, but make it hard. They should. Oh, here, he make a blunder. What's a line here? Yeah, here apparently he has a draw with this move. Not a draw. Wait, no, I play it right. Yeah, he can play rook d5, but this is not a draw. No, I'm winning. I'm winning all the time. Or well, maybe I. Oh yeah, yeah, here. I mean, he has an insane move, rook d1. And this is a draw. I cannot stop the rook from giving me check. We were world one time, not excuse, but hard 
to see this idea. Kinsey 7, Kinsey 6 for gain. Fortunately, he didn't see it. Remember, these are games being played in turn. We were here in the fourth hour of the game with little time. So, yeah, it could seem like, oh, it's easy to see, but yeah. I don't think it's that easy. Of course, uh, it's nothing excuse. Uh, it should not have happened. Uh, fortunately, it's not as easy once you are when you are playing the game. But yeah. And this is position system in one. This check here and here. And here. This position should be one. I don't think it's not that hard to win it, but I have to be a bit careful. There's this check was a really precise move. And now he just collapsed. He didn't see my idea. What is my idea? Well, whenever he goes for this setup, I just give check and guess what he follows. I will keep running. And this is the way I won the game. He had just a few seconds, but still, if he cannot play rook h1 here, uh, I'm just winning. Okay. So I will leave it here. Three games for now. I hope you find this video entertaining guys. Uh, I will try to go more in deep in the games next time. Uh, not, not next time, but when, when I back home. We still have four games left. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Today I beat a player from Emirates Arab Oa. I forgot the name. United United Arabic, I don't know, whatever it is. I'm really tired right now, I'm sorry. Uh, I hope this guy doesn't get mad at me. I cannot remember the name of the country. But he's from Middle Middle East. Middle East. Uh, one of the countries next, uh, close to Dubai. Anyway. Uh, my, tomorrow I don't know who are we playing. We still have to wait a couple hours. Usually we know the time of the games by 10 p.m. And we get to the hotel around 8, 8 theory. We go for dinner. Actually, I am missing dinner, so I should go in a little bit. Uh, we eat dinner. We come back. We wait a little bit for the, game, the round. We check the round. Usually, I try to analyze my game before going to bed, the one I play. Maybe prepare a little bit. Then we go to bed. Then we wake up next day. Usually, after going to bed at midnight, one, we wake up like at 8, 9. Then we go for breakfast, come back, and start preparing at 10 a.m. And we have a couple hours to prepare. So we prepare up to like noon, a little past noon. We go for dinner, for lunch, sorry. And then at 1, we go to 1, one no, like at 2, we go to the playing hall. Yeah, if not, we will really have time for lunch. We go to the playing hall, we play the games from 3 p.m. to, usually in my case, 7 8 p.m. And wins and win or lose, we come back and we repeat. So, yeah, uh, has been a nice Olympia. The organization has been great. Not much uh, of a chance to do anything else or complain chess, but, well, uh, I cannot complain. I mean, there are worse things that playing in the Olympia playing chess. By the way, today Magnus Carlsen was in the hall number two. Norway is doing terrible for what is expected. Most things on the top. So I don't know. I've been a little bit of a weird Olympiad in that regard. But okay. Uh, have a good night, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this and see you next time.